Kansas at Baylor. Baylor is a seven and a half point favorite. Uh, the total is 58. It's 12 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2. We'll go on and pull up the numbers. And shockingly, I have got Kansas favored in this game. Now, my numbers are, uh, I'll tell you this, I trust my numbers. I really do. Uh, it, sometimes they look a little crazy, uh, but these are opponent adjusted and everything. So, just throwing that out there. We don't know if Blake Shapin is going to play in this game. Of course, he went out with a concussion last week, so that could end up being a, a pretty big deal. Uh, Kansas 9-1-1 against the spread in their last 11 conference games. They are 1-11 and against the spread their last 12 against Baylor. That doesn't really tell us a whole lot because, to be honest, uh, they like Kansas doesn't have a good against the spread record against anybody in the Big 12 as it sits right now. Baylor 24-2, and uh, 20, 20 wins, 4 losses, and two pushes against the spread after a spread loss like they took at West Virginia last week. So that's something to say about that. They they are obviously coming off of a loss, so that's something to pay attention to. Um, looking at the numbers here, I mean, obviously, Kansas' defense is bad. Uh, number 122 in PPA per drive defense, that's not good. There's lots of ways that Baylor's offense will be able to take advantage of them. Uh, running the ball will certainly be one. Number 30 PPA per rush on offense for Baylor against number 111 PPA per rush on defense for Kansas. Uh, but the Kansas numbers have gotten a little bit better as we've gone through the season. Obviously, Oklahoma took big-time advantage of them last week. But I don't think that Baylor has quite the talent that Oklahoma had last week. You look at Kansas's numbers – yeah, there's ways that they can take advantage of Baylor as well. Jason Bean continues to play really, really well uh, in a starting role here. And, you know, number four in, uh, let's see, number four in PPA per pass against Baylor, number 82. Like, they just don't have a great secondary here. Uh, Kansas, not great at explosive passing, but, you know, they wouldn't be able to do it against Baylor anyway. Uh, success rate, number 29, passing the ball for Kansas, number 91 for Baylor secondary here. Uh you look at passing downs rate, passing downs PPA, et cetera, that all leans Kansas. As far as running the football, Kansas, they do that more often. Obviously, their their rush rate is 56.3%. Um, they, they're they not going to have a ton of luck against Baylor's uh, defensive line here. But like I, they might still be able to get something done. So the biggest thing is you're going to have to run the ball some, but they're still really, really efficient throwing the football, even if they only do it 43% of the time. I think that in this spot, looking at field position, looking at everything, I mean, it, it, Kansas has just a ton of leans in this game. They are better as far as giveaways per game, number 22. Uh, Baylor is number 76 in giveaways per game. Baylor doesn't do a good job of taking the ball away. Uh, I mean, points per play margin, PPA margin, uh, Everything. Like, while Kansas does have a not good defense, there are certainly things that Kansas can take advantage of on offense. I'm going to ride Kansas plus the seven and a half. Like, I think this is a pretty good team. Uh, on Even on the road, like, this is a spot where, you know, it, they, they need to try and find a win here pretty soon because this schedule gets pretty difficult and they still need that one win to get bowl eligible. So this is a spot where they could absolutely do it. Uh, like, like you saw, my numbers like Kansas outright. Yeah, I'll ride Kansas plus 7.5. Absolutely. Why not? 